In previous videos, you saw us renovating our sketchy ruin. Now, we are gonna build a roof on it. We are trying to keep as much as we can from the old building in order to reuse the materials. We kept the foundations, part of the walls, bricks and roof tiles. But also, we needed to reinforce the whole structure. Let's see how it works with the weight of the new roof. Welcome to another Project Camp update. Rainy weather will be coming soon, so we need to get the roof done quite fast. This has the challenge of getting all the materials on time, as we are going to make different layers with them. But first, I want to show you a problem we have at the bottom of the ruin. We always assumed that the granite was our best foundation, our good friend, but recently we discovered that it's not in that good state. So, as you can see, this granite is a bit brittle and up. We also discovered some cracks on it, as you can see here. It also sounds a bit hollow. The big beam of the roof is gonna lay here, which is gonna bring the weight to this rock. So, we're gonna reinforce this area in order to have our roof on top of a solid base to, yeah, be a bit safe. Let's do it. We're cutting into the granite a little bit so we can have them nice and tight with the wall. So it's kind of a sketchy process, but I'm cutting into the rock and then doing a second cut and slowly taking out sections. <laughs> it's very dusty. <laughs> shower in a long time. <laughs> We are back in the workspace, we have already our metal, and now it's time to metal work. Okay, the frame for the bottom is ready. I tried to move it myself down, but I end up with a bit of back pain. So now I found some friends to move it with me. Oh yeah. Oh, good. Oh, oh.
this. Concrete is limestone. Uh, so we have this frame in place. Now these beams are well supported. And we're going to start to work safely in the roof. Let's do it. So now that we've reinforced the bottom part of the ruin, we can start working on the roof. Uh, it's going to be a tiled roof and it's going to consist of six layers. Let me show you in the 3D model. So before you could say Dave put in this big beam frame into the house. On this frame we are going to have the rafters. Uh, the cork insulation is going to lay on top of the rafters. It's six centimeters thick. Uh, a foil membrane will go over the cork layer. On top of the membrane we have the counter battens. On the counter battens sit the battens. And on top of the battens we can put the roof tiles. Before we start working on the roof I would like to introduce you to our new friend Frank. He's going to help me because it's a pretty big job. You've already seen him previously, but he's going to introduce himself properly now. Hi, my name is Frank. I'm 33 years old and I'm from Germany. Some years ago, I quit my job in industry and decided to go traveling with my brother. On our travels to India, I learned about yoga and natural building, which are now two of my passions. And also coffee. So, I became a yoga teacher and recently I finished my training as a carpenter. Now I came to Project Camp to put my skills to work. I learned that it's important to do things that are meaningful to us rather than chasing after money or careers. By doing the things that we enjoy and give meaning to us, we can become much happier and help to make the world a little better. But for the moment, the ruin needs a roof, so let's see what I can bring to it. Okay, now we're ready to start working on the roof. And the first step will be... Just got this pile of wood freshly delivered and we're gonna use it to finish the roof. So normally we get all our wood from the sawmill here in the village. Uh, but most of the times it's, it's bendy and it's not dry. But now we found a guy close by who can deliver this already dried nice and straight wood. Last rafter here. Mm. Uh, Time to put the first rafter on. We've put this uh, little block here, the angle of the roof, filling the gap on the roof ridge beam. Okay, looks alright to me.
and error on this end. Okay, yeah, let's stick to that. Look at this. Nice beams. Yeah, that's already enough. Sketchy work and uh, on the go filmmaking, nothing too complicated. Yeah, um, it's time to screw down this big beam on this corner and for that yeah, we got myself attached to the rope, got a plank in place and now we screw it down. Do you have good insurance? No. We've got this little challenge of a square roof on a not so square house. And that means that our rafters are not running over the walls. As you can see here. We are putting extra beams on top of the wall and later we we'll close it here with cement to have somewhat of a airtight connection. Look at this brick. It fits exactly. I'm constantly amazed by my own uh, skills. Seems like the car is arriving, but there's a bit of a situation here. Seems that the truck is stuck, so we're gonna check and help the guy. Finally, cork is in the ruin, ready to isolate our place. We choose this material because it's natural, it's also grown close by, it's local, it's barely processed, so they just get the leftover cork, they heat it up, they compress it, and they have these thick planks that we are gonna use to isolate our building. We will put it in the walls and in the roof. We are gonna use it for his awesome properties as an isolation material. If you want to get more in depth, you can check the Audi 53. You can see how is it made, where is it coming from. We want to give it this try and see how it reacts, how it isolates in the summer, how it reacts in winter. Yeah, we like it. Let's cork. Let's 
card. First half of the roof is in place. We made it so that it sticks over on the top of the ridge. We are now going to cut over the ridge to have a nice straight edge. Speed. It should be set on the maximum depth. It is. No, I mean speed. Speed? Yeah. Oh, there's a speed dial. I didn't know, but it's yeah. on six. The rain is coming. We have to we have to close the roof. Make sure that the wind and the water cannot go into the cork and it also finishes off the beam.
finally made our roof rainproof. Frame and insulation are now in place and as you can see, between the cork and the buttons, we have included a waterproof layer. We are not really sure about this layer, as we are introducing new plastic in our building. Finally, we went for it in order to prevent water and moisture. It will keep our materials in good condition in the long run, so the overall impact could be reduced. We are still not sure if it's worth adding advanced material like this or if it is better to keep it more natural. Let's see. We would like to learn more about it, so let us know if you have any thoughts. This is what we have done this week. Roof is now almost there and next move will be finishing it by adding buttons and roof tiles. We hope to have it ready for next week if there is no serious unexpected events in between. Thanks for watching and see you in the next update. Wait, wait, wait. If you like what we do, support us in Patreon to watch the videos one week ahead.